Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for a brand new Let's Play, First Impressions, I'm not sure yet. For the game Rakuen. Rakuen? Made by Laura Shigihara, whose reputation should precede her. Uh, I've heard a lot about this game. Uh, it was given to me, gifted to me on Steam by my friend Midnight Beyond, Jeffrey, and I'm gonna try it because it looks pretty interesting and uh, at the very least we're going to uh, we're going to uh, try to do something I'm, I'm hoping to make this a let's play if I like it uh, but yeah I've heard good things about this game who's there Yami Hey. <clears throat> Boy, how'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? My Miami. I live across the hall. Did you just move in or something? No, I think I got here around the same time as you. That's not suspicious, but they never let me out of my room. Is it because your eyes are red? Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So, how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mom says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. Oh, don't die, know it. I know what you mean. Something's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Gotta go fast. Hey, wait. Yeah? Maybe I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Did you just cover me in radiation or something? Oh, yeah. I love his hat, by the way. My gosh, I wish I had that. Don't worry. I'll come visit you again. I promise. That's nice. Yami? Where'd you go? That's not suspicious at all. Alright, so story time. If you're not familiar with my channel at all, um... <laughs> first of all, that the Ivy's not connected to him, and Ivy bag filled with a saline solution. Uh, story time for Dovey. Um, I spent the last four plus years fighting cancer so I've seen my fair share of hospital rooms I don't know how this game is gonna go this game this is completely 100% blind for me but um, it's gonna be interesting I don't know we seem to have the setting of a hospital so I'd like to see how the experience matches up to my own patient number 237 Meritrix, disodium, aged milligrams, carboplatin. Oh, I think, it, I think, do I have cancer? Because platin is a chemo agent. Um, uh, what did I get? Uh, uh, I got cisplatin as one of my chemos earlier on. That would make sense. Open the cabinet? Sure. Cabin is empty. Oh. Oh. Phone. Wait, I have to see what this is. The best play that looks like you use some water. If I feed it nutrients, will I in get a kindness increase? No, this is not that game. Hello? Hello, dear, it's mom. Oh no! This is an alternate reality to Earthbound where your mother's the phone instead of your father. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off to work this week. I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So, we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We could play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like our own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Aww. 
Hey, the light's on. Uh-oh, should we be back in bed? Hello, nurse. Sorry, sorry. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Yeah, did they tell you not to take the IV out of your arm? Ha! <laughs> okay, wise guy, I got a couple of things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. Well, that's good. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. Also, suddenly music! You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Alright. Oh no! It's gone! Doctor! They took it! They took Rakuin! Oh. Wait, is Rakuin that little... Uh, thingy that's the icon of the game? Rakuin! It's my favorite- oh no, it's a book. Okay, it's my favorite book in the whole world! My mom reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! After mom finishes reading, she always puts it back in the same place. It's our tradition! Tradition! Sorry. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Hmm. It has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for a key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. I kind of want to see if I can advance the text just by pressing space more again, but I don't want to, to accidentally skip the dialogue. Mom's going to be so sad. Let's try it. I'm not there. Okay, it does. Sweet. You know what? What? Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? The problem is if it's a short sentence, then I'll skip it. Who knows? Maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. Goodbye, nurse. Sorry. Treatment guide. An origami hat. So I'm pretty sure I got cancer. Which is par for the course. There's a sign on the door. Read it? Sure, I can read. Storage area 5B. Too bad it's not 2B. You know, like the near reference. No. Patient's not allowed to be on this point. Haha! -ha. Little do you know, I am an RPG protagonist. I can go where I choose. Light. Sure. Yeah, we did it. The sink is filled with water. We did it, guys. A mirror. I'm mature, I swear. Let's turn the light off before we leave. Uh, ooh. Hello. Has your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? Uh, got a wheelchair over there. What's in the locker? A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Looks like there's something beneath the lab coat. Sure. You found 5G. Yeah, money. Found a pair of scrubs. No scrubs. Device used to measure height. A hospital scale. Ah, oh, god, this is way too familiar for me. Hospitals generally follow a formula, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not that it's bad. An eye chart on the lower left corner of the eye chart, you can make out some writing. Read it. Ma e e. Interesting. I'm sure they'll come into play later. Uh, this game looks nice. It's small because it was made in RPG Maker. Um, but. Looks nice. Doors rusted shut. There's scrubs in there. Hello. Hello. Now where did I put that key? I must have dropped it somewhere. Vending machine. 
Would you like to buy hot coffee restocking soon? Peanut choo choos. I don't have enough money for that. Look at me, I'm in the bed. Okay, sorry. I just like interacting with everything because they put time into doing it. Patient survey. You know? Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently, a toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? I'm a nurse, not a plumber. <laughs> Damn it, Jim, I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't know even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. You know, we're short-staffed. Ah, uh, fine. I'll see if I can go dig up some supplies. That seems to be a supply room. Uh, well, this... Kisaburo's room. Blank's room. Hello, Blank. The door's locked. It's not Yami's room, is it? It might be. Is Yami dead? Is Yami a ghost? Is Yami stealing everything? There's a tunnel through here that's been blocked off? What kind of hospital is this? Someone etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Read it. Yim e e e. I think the eyes mean it's an order that I'm supposed to be reading these things. I'll have to keep that in mind for later. Blood samples, hooray. A thermometer, let's hope it's not the rectal kind. They don't really use that in hospitals, which is nice. They put it like under the arm or in the mouth or there's like a forehead one. A stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Based on the results of Kizabor's brain scan, we believe the metastasis to be cause of his delirium. It seems it is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Ouch. 1021 was found climbing ladder in construction zone 5B. Hey, that's by me. In question, replied that he intended to make a hole in the ceiling. He found the yard digging in mud. A completely unresponsive in question appeared to be unaware of location time. Carrying bags of... Wow. You have a nice plant, sir. Oh, you're a man. I thought you were a child. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walk around again. You need something? Need something? God, what's that from? Starcraft, maybe. What's up? Seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. Either that or people just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. God, do I know about that. Okay, so, more story time. I'm sorry if this is going to get, like, depressing. Um, but, yeah. Just people with cancer is... I've dealt with it so um, you contemplate your death a lot and I know that like a lot of people that are depressed or in a bad state or whatever they do that too but like it's very different when you feel like there's like I've had depression too where it just felt like the world's closing around you and I've had states where I'm not depressed but just very aware of the fact that I'm not in control of my own mortality anymore um, and that's when I really started trying to ramp up my channel because it died down a whole bunch, a uh, bunch of years ago when I started uh, feeling all the back pain from from the cancer and things like that. Um, but then, like, there got to a point where I said, "Okay, there's a possibility that I'm not gonna make it out of this. I need to do what I have to do now, and not push it off." And I know that. Uh, uh, you know, you, you, it's kind of stupid to, to funnel that into making Let's Plays, but I wanted to do, I wanted to leave something that would, you know, be able to make people happy and entertain them and stuff, because that's my job here. That's what I try to do with my videos. And, um, so I, my, that was pretty much, like what he said, that was pretty much, I don't know if, if anyone was listening anymore, but I was going to try to say what I had to say. So I, <laughs> I identify the hell out of that. Hear about the thief. I've been telling the nurses for a long time that someone's been sneaking around here after hours. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital we patients don't have access to. What? They were crawling through the vents? What are they, xenomorphs? You have to be pretty small to fit through there. Yeah, it's definitely Yami. No one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. Tell me about the folks here. I'm not one for gossip. Alright. 
See you later. Feel better, man. It's it's gonna be good. No matter what happens, just remember that. I'm gonna look through your bathroom now. Door's locked. Okay, I'm not gonna look for your bathroom, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll get to the storage room. I assume this is the storage room. Jenna and Sue's room. It is not the storage room. Hello! The toilet is broken. Some metal thing is stuck inside. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. Hey, what are you doing? I, um... It's a girl's room, you know. But if you want to go to this bathroom, come talk to me. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. How are you doing today? God, you... You look like the parents I usually see around... Uh, the hospital. Just... It... I... I <laughs> I'm sorry I keep on doing this. Uh, so I, my, the, the cancer that I had is a, a childhood cancer. It's mostly seen in infants or young children. So I was being treated at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, which, it's a children's hospital. So you get a lot of kids there. And it's, it's not only a cancer hospital. There's, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but uh, the, you know, the cancer ward is where I spent most of my time, obviously. And everybody just has that look, that weary look. And your life kind of gets sucked away when you have to watch your kids go through something like that. My wife's been asleep for months now. I guess his wife also. Just family members. I have to, I have to remember this is a hospital, not a children's hospital. I still talk with her every day and sometimes I read to her. Also, you don't look like a monkey. Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have long been closed off, even to the staff. But recently I noticed that one of the devices had been turned on. Who would you like to learn about? Let's learn about Sue. On occasion, I'd had, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Tony. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long time. It makes me sad to think that families could be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. Yeah, I know what you mean. How about Cora? Do you have a legend, Cora? I heard Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. Aw. Yeah, she's not gonna... She seems to be, uh comatose of some sort. The cabinet is empty. Blood samples, thermometer, patient 138, anoxic brain injury. Oh, God. Yeah, um, that's, oh, gosh. That's, that's not gonna, that's not good. Wow, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. So you want to use our bathroom, huh? Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we get it. We get. It. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't just let anyone use our bathroom. It is a girls' room, you know. Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? Yep. That's my marble collection. I'm missing some, though. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was uh, was with Danielle in the cafeteria, so you might want to check around there. Alright. So we got a side quest, which is probably a main quest. Hello. Jackie. I really like your hair. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? Oh, God. Don't get me started on platelets. Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? I want to know about the perpetual motion machines. Sometimes I like to contemplate things like, why are there only two egg-laying mammals in the world? I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs. But so far, only the platypus and echidna families have hopped on that bandwagon. Because they're Australian. Enough said. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time. 
I didn't need to know that. <laughs> Just like the boy's response, ellipsis. Did you hear about the thief? Come here, I'll let you in a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about this hospital? Hmm, not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into that closet south of Tony's room, but I was told that closet has been locked since before I was working here. I'm pretty sure they were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye, and for but a second, so unfortunately I could not say. Tell me about the folks here. Panky. Children love Chef Panky. If he knows that someone is having a bad day, he'll give them ice cream. Ah, ice cream. Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! I really like Jackie. Jackie's Jackie's the type of character I usually I usually like in these types of games. The, the I don't know. Uh, science otaku isn't a good isn't a good phrase, but you know what I mean, right? I knew Kizuburo back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example. Recently, the staff found him inside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he's looking for... BURIED TREASURE! Sorry. Uh, and Danielle? Danielle's a purple-haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Alright, uh, nope, that's it. And I think that's going to do it for this. I, I am interested in continuing this game, so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, in the next episode of Raccoon, um, we are going to save the game. Ooh, there are multiple files. I love you, game. Also, there's a quest log. Thank God. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you all very much for watching. This has been several so before with Raccoon. Raccoon? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think of this game. It's on Steam and uh, yeah, uh, details of it are going to be in the uh, are going to be in the description. Uh, so yeah, goodbye everybody. Bye bye.